It's a building with such an intriguing history that people are asking for tours even though it won't open for at least a year. The former Mount Carmel Monastery is being restored and turned into a hotel and restaurant. People can get a sneak peek this weekend for a special Mother's Day meal and DK Wright will take us on a tour right now complete with a very unusual history. The Mount Carmel Monastery was home to cloistered nuns. In its once ornate chapel, the public could come and attend Mass. But the nuns were not seen by the public, or um, they were heard. They did sing um, for the congregation, but yeah, they could, they could view Mass, but they weren't uh, allowed to interact with the public. The nuns stayed behind these grates, never being seen. There used to be a turnstile where they would receive gifts and donations and do blessings. So the people used to put their babies in there and turn them around and the nuns would bless them and, and give them back. He says the diocese closed the monastery in 1971. The remaining nuns had to relocate and eventually they died. Now as the new owners renovate, they give curious people a tour through the old monastery. Whenever I lead somebody through the first question is they ask me, is it haunted? And his answer? It just feels like love. It just feels, uh, it has a magic to it. People know it for its pink color. This 1915 Spanish mission style complex will become a boutique hotel with restaurant and bar. It will have 12 to 15 rooms and will host weddings, reunions, receptions, showers, and parties. The courtyard is the crown jewel with tulips and English ivy. It has hauntingly spiritual reminders of its past throughout the building. It will open fully within a year or two. They say the pink color will go. It will be white with black trim. DK Wright, 47 News in Wheeling, working for you. Thank you, DK. Roxby Development purchased the building in March of 2020.